Welcome back guys, I got Talent Stringham here with Dream Runner Consulting. He's a business appraiser and we're talking today about the process of getting an appraisal done and the approach of how he goes about finding value. So when a client comes to you and says, I need an appraisal, what type of documents and information should they be planning on to bring to you to help you determine a value? So the first thing is we're gonna need financial statements, income statement, balance sheet, statement of cash flows if, if that's available. You know, sometimes we'll get into other reports like you asset know, list, maybe. Asset list, accounts receivable, accounts payable, those sorts of things. And we might get some detail on what goes into those assets or liabilities, or we might get some detail on what's on the income statement and what went into those, the income or expense items on the income statement. How many years should they expect to have prepared to bring to you? You know, a lot of times I like to just try to get the QuickBooks file from them. Oh, okay. Um, and, and then that way I can pull whatever I need. Generally speaking, it's five years, but it could go more or less than that, depending on factors. And under what circumstances should someone plan on trying to go forward and getting projections. The process of, of what am I buying? I'm buying a business to bring me income in the future. I'm not buying it for what you got it from in the past. Mm -hmm. Projections can be very important. And when you go down the path to kind of create a, an approach to determine value, a lot of us are used to the real estate space where you can look at three different approaches and say, you look, you know, what, what does this asset cost? Or what are other comparables like this selling in a, in a close proximity to us? How does that look like in a business where, you're, where your world of comparables is not as, as deep and broad as you might have in real estate well it's i love the analogy because it's it's very similar we do the same types of things when we're valuing a business as we as a real estate appraiser would do when they're valuing a home we look at the value of, of individual assets and liabilities and and try to make an assessment that way we also might look at future income that might be made off that business and bring that back to present value. And we also do have databases that we look at to see other companies that have sold and see what they're selling for and use that as a comparable to the business that we have that we're trying to come up with a value for. In certain cases, we also might look to the public markets, you know, what publicly traded companies are trading for and if those can be compared to the company in question. Well, it's interesting that, I mean, at the end of the day, it feels like it's quite similar, right? I mean, we're all used to the real estate space. Appraising a business, far more complicated. I'm guessing it's also a little more expensive than a real estate appraisal necessarily yes. too. You know, it, it does take a lot more time, a lot more data is being analyzed, but you can kind of consider it uh, to, to be very similar to the real estate side. Yeah, the approaches are the same. It's it's just a little bit more complicated because we're not just looking at, at a hard asset that is fairly fungible in some ways. It's, you know, each business is unique and so it brings its own complications. Uh, Talon's also provided me a white paper you can find on our website. A lot of great detail in there about the appraisal process and questions that you might want to be asking yourself before you head down that path. One of the other things Talon's offered to us as well are heading down the path of you. You want to kind of get a value or maybe you're selling your business, but you're not quite sure what the value ought to be. He also does consulting engagements where perhaps it's not an actual appraisal you're needing, but you want to help determine value in more of a soft sense prior to something big like a transaction you're going through. So Talon's here with us on a few other videos. Please watch all of those as, as you might have an interest. Thanks for joining us.